We have an NHL trade to discuss. The LA Kings and the Ottawa Senators have swapped some younger players needing a fresh start. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have an NHL trade to take a look at here today. It's not a blockbuster by any means, but a couple of younger players who could be impact players. You never know. Both were really working out with their existing teams. Uh, you got Christian Lannon from Ottawa going to LA in exchange for forward Michael Amadio. So the Kings get a defenseman in Willannon, who's 26 years old, uh, hasn't played a ton of NHL hockey. He went through the University of North Dakota program in college, uh, played there for a number of years before turning pro and signing with the Senators. Uh, he's played parts of the last few years. Last year, unfortunately, was basically a lost season. He got hurt in training camp and was out the entire year. Um, I believe he played like 30 games prior to that with the Sens, and then he's played 15 this year before being put on waivers the other day, which he did clear. Uh, he was going to be assigned to the Belleville Senators in the American Hockey League if there wasn't a trade like this happening, uh, where he was going to hopefully have an opportunity to kind of can get play some bigger roles, bigger minutes, and kind of start to reprove himself again. But at his age, he's not really considered a prospect anymore, even though he hasn't really played a ton at the NHL level. Uh, like I said, a lot of that's because he turned pro at a more mature age because of the college hockey stint and then losing a season due to injury. It just really set him back in the Senators this year, even though their blue line's not super deep. They do have a lot of defensive help on the way with guys like Jacob Bernard Docker, Jake Sanderson, Tyler Clevin, uh, to name a few. Um, and so they have guys coming that can replace him. Plus they have Eric Brandstrom, who's still not a full-time NHLer at this point, but should be by next season. It might be by before, even before the end of this season, really. So uh, we'll, we'll see here what this does for Willannon. It gives him a fresh start to go to LA. A player that I've always liked. I think he's got good potential. He's a great skater, good puck mover. Yes, he's got some issues in his own end of his defensive zone. Like a lot of younger, inexperienced defenders have. Not a huge surprise. Basically fell out of favor with the coach. Lost his trust and couldn't really get in and stay in the lineup. Even when he had a stretch of four or five games, you know what it's like when coaches start to lose their trust in the player, even the smallest of errors get critiqued and get picked on even more. Now, in the case of Michael Amadio, 24 years old, pending RFA, uh, forward for the LA Kings, uh, going to the Senators. Uh, he can play center. He can play wing. Uh, he's a guy that's not really found a regular spot all the time as well. He's played 20 games this year. He's played parts off and on here over the last three or four years with LA. Um, not a big point producer by any means. Whatever opportunity he gets in Ottawa will certainly be a bottom six role. Questionable if either of these players, to be honest, stays with these new franchises beyond the current season. Uh, with Amadio, uh, you know, he's an RFA. They don't have to qualify him. They don't really need another forward prospect or younger forward, you know, into this category here with them. They've got a lot of youth already uh, and ones that are much more higher level when it comes to offense and that now he likely would have been a teammate i believe of nick paul because he played a few years of junior hockey in north bay uh for the battalion there so i think they would have been teammates so he likely has a, at least a small connection to the Sens franchise and in the case of will uh he's got a He's got to get some more games in, or he could be in a Group 6 UFA by the end of the year. So we'll see. LA likely gives him a pretty good opportunity to get those games in, and then he could be an RFA, and then he could be retained uh, a little bit easier if they want to keep him around. But the Kings are another team as well. Like They could probably squeeze him in on the blue line now and get a little bit more um, playing time, but they have a lot of good prospects coming as well. So he's going to have a lot of people to compete with for a regular spot. But it could be a scenario where both get a fresh start and a new franchise different opportunity and we'll see what they can make of it they could flourish and find some new hope here on their careers or maybe they both end up moving on in the off season it's really difficult to say but this is basically just a case of nhl younger players who aren't really prospects anymore getting a fresh start to see if they can rejuvenate their nhl career so let me know your thoughts on this i know sense fans might be disappointed and will land and moving on but so at this point with all the guys coming it's uh it's unfortunate it's not a huge loss though given what they've got uh, on the prospect chart here. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.